Alright guys, today we're going to be moving on with um, some more movement and um, hopefully this one's going to be a little bit more exciting than the other one because we're going to actually get into um, filming, uh, well having a camera in there and being able to, to watch it on, on the, the game screen here. Um, so let's jump straight back into the script that we've got um, and have a look at that. So at the moment we are able to move forwards but that is it and obviously we just fall off the edge. Um, I don't know if you, from the first episode, you can um, guess how we're going to do the rest of it. Um, it's, it's actually going to be a little bit easier because uh, we can pretty much just copy this bit and we'll do it now. Um, we copy this section and we'll paste it in. In fact, we'll paste it in a couple of times. It's, it's nice to um, keep everything tidy as well, so if you um, have some spacing in between everything it's it's easier to determine where things are. Um, so we're going to go uh, with W with S and then A and then a D as well. Um, and obviously you can use the, the arrow keys but you have to use um, I think you have to put up arrow um, as the as the quote, I'm not sure on that, so we'll have to Google it. But um, a lot a lot of the time, you'll be looking at W A S and D anyway. Um, and you can change those just by changing this one to back. Uh, it's not backward; it's just back. And then um, we want A to be left and D to be right. Now, if you have already gone ahead and tried to do this, you might notice that you don't actually turn, so you'll only be moving forwards and backwards, and we'll cover that in a minute with the turning. Um, if we save that, we will also need to go on to our input in project settings and um, add some more. Uh, so we need 21, is it? Yeah. Um, so we can change this W into A and then S and then D so with that done we can now if we press play we can move in, in all directions um, using the arrows now that's obviously not relevant to the camera because we're looking in the scene view at the moment because um, we haven't got a camera in there um, so that's what we're going to cover now. Um, so the, the first thing we're going to do is add a camera. And actually, before I go into that, um, I, had a, I, had, I did have a comment on the last video about um, the scaling. Um, that's what these tools are here. So you've got um, the move tool, which just moves objects. If you use the, the arrows on the sides, um, you can move it along the axis, or you can move it if you click on the middle bit wherever you want it. Um, let me undo that a bit. Uh, that'll do. And then the rotate tool um, is a spherical one, so if we move around it using the Alt key and the left mouse button, um, you can see that it's, it goes all the way around, but you can use the coloured lines to rotate on specific axis, axes. And then um, we've also got the scale tool, tool, which was the one that I used in the other one, um, and you use the, the sides to scale it there. The, uh, the the lines with the cubes on the end um, and then you can scale the whole thing um, with the middle one there um, just so, just I just wanted to cover that because we did have a, I did have a comment on it last on the last video um, so let's get back into this so we want to add a camera so we're going to go game object create other and then camera so we've got our camera there and in the game view is there um, and if we move if we move it around it does have a um, a cut off um, so we will have to change that. It's up to you whether you want it to be third person or first person. So if it's if you want it to be third person, then obviously you want it, you want the camera to be like just over the shoulder, um, and you can play around with where you want it. And um, it does look a bit bland at the moment, but we'll we'll sort that out with some lights in the future. But for now, we'll just leave it. Um, but for me, I'm going to make it a first person game. So we're going to go into inside the cube and. Um, one thing you're going to want is to make sure that the that, that the clipping is oh, oops um, the clipping is is only going to be just on the outside of the box and you can change it over here on uh, clipping planes um, you can make it sh shorter but you don't want to make it too close or else um, you won't be able to see anything because it will keep uh, getting stuck on the inside of the box um, so I'm going to change that back to three 
and we'll leave it as it is there. Um, and then you want to drag that onto your player, and what that'll do is it'll make it a child of the player. So whenever the player moves, the camera will move with it. So if we select the camera, and then we move on the thing, we can see that it moves with it. Um, we are actually having a little bit of a collision error there. Um, so what, what we're going to do from there is we are going to... Um, make it so when we rot when we move the mouse button, um, we will rotate. So what we want to do now is we want to um, import some more assets. So we're going to go on uh, assets, and then import package, and you get some packages with it. And what we're going to want is we want the character controller one. I think that might actually be it for now. So if we just uh, click on that and then press import, it will add it to a. Once it's imported. I'll add it to standard assets and that should give us um, our tool that we need which is camera controls mouse look and what that's going to do is if we jump if we add that to the camera and then um, we go in if we look around you can see that the camera rotates and that's 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 what we want, but we also want the object to rotate too. So what we're going to do is also add it to the player. So we'll go um, component camera controls mouse look again, but we don't want that to rotate on the on one of the axes because or else our whole object is rotating like that. Um, so what we want to do is only set it to the x axis. And that will rotate, so it won't rotate up and down, but we can still look up and down. So now, um, in fact, I think our camera rotates faster than our cube. We'll sort that in a second. But um, so now you can, if as long as you're pressing, if I'm pressing W now, um, we can move. I messed that up because of the camera. Let's let's, let's fix the camera. Um, so we need to reduce the sensitivity of the camera to let's say ten. We'll do that for both as well. Um, that's still too much. Now it is it is pretty much a guessing game with this kind of thing because um, sometimes the, the the reason for it is because the cube is colliding with the floor. Um, and it slows down the rotation that that is having. Um, we could also increase, we could just increase the rotation of the cube to compensate for it. Um, but for now, that that should be all right for what we're we're looking for at the moment. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna have to fix the collision, and we'll cover that in the next episode. Um, but for now, um, thanks for watching, guys, and um, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, just at, throw them in the comment section, and um, we'll work from there. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.